get you a good side, I promise. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? Mic check, mic check. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Some of y'all don't know me. Uh, my name is Mr. Chike. Uh, raise your hand if you are like first generation born in this country. Like your people's from somewhere else. Raise your hand if you are first generation born in this country, your people's are from somewhere else. So we have a different upbringing than most people because when you're coming from a different culture, the mindset is totally different. Growing up, I was told that there's four options for me. Engineer, lawyer, doctor, accountant. <laughs> Those were the four options. None of those appealed to me, right? And so I want to talk a little bit about, like, purpose. Um, since I was born, I've always been talking, like, a lot. Like, how they talking back then? Like, always been talking. Get kicked out of school, get kicked out of class for what? Talking. Go to the principal's office. Principal gets annoyed. Why? Because I'm talking. I didn't know why I talked so much. I just knew I had an opportunity. I had a way of influencing people with my language, right? So I used to call myself like the black Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson used to kind of get people annoyed, and then he would tell them what? Eat my shorts. Eat my shorts. But he would tell them, <laughs> don't have a cow, man. Like, he would get people annoyed and then tell them to calm down. So I realized I was like that. I was able to get teachers so annoyed to the point where they almost kicked me out. And I'd be like, don't have a cow, chill out, <laughs> right? And so I kind of stumbled, years later, I kind of stumbled into my first speaking engagement where I was tasked to just set up a room for an event. The executive director comes in, he says, I can't talk my throat. I said, sucks for you. He's like, you gotta do the, you gotta do the event. I said, I'm not. You don't pay me for that. It's not what I'm here for. And I ended up doing it. I did really, really well, and that opened up mad doors for me. Right. So what's the point, Mr. Chike? Right now, you are at an age where you have a gift, um, but you may not know how to utilize that gift, how to, how to use that gift to help other people. Right? But one thing I'll tell you is that that gift that was put in you before you were born is not a mistake. Right? It's not, there's a reason why you're so this or you're, or you're so that. There's a reason why. It's because that thing that, that you are like, oh my God, is, is literally here to help others. And if you haven't been told this yet, there are people that you are assigned to in this world and you're to use your gift to help them. And unfortunately, if you don't use your gift to help those people that are assigned to you, those people won't get what they need, right? And so I just want to remind you that you are here for a purpose. You are here for a reason. As long as you wake up every morning, your job ain't done yet, all right? Um, and that's all I got. Any questions? That's, that's quick. Any questions? Like, they, they know me. They're like, <laughs> you know anything about this dude. Okay. Well, we're gonna do Any questions? Now, what's up? Got a question? Oh, come on. Now, now he know he got to come up. Yeah, right. You gotta, right here, we back can't here. hear come you. On, you gotta come up and ask the question. Come on. We can't hear you. Come on. You only got 30 seconds. He thought. All right. Come on. He don't know why he moving. Can you, can, you, can you bring him the mic, please? Okay. Okay. Well, I can hear you up here. The only goal I had graduating from high school was to not get sent back to Nigeria. <laughs> Real talk. My only goal was to not get sent back to Nigeria because my only two options were go to college or go to Nigeria. Go to Nigeria. And at that, mo at that point, I, I really liked America. Oh. Like had different things here, like food options and... You know, right? And so I, my, my only goal graduating from high school was to not go back to Nigeria. When I got to college, which was NJIT right up the street, um, I, my only goal getting to college was getting out of college. <laughs> and so, so like Miss um, Shatera, Shatera, 
Um, I had like zero majors my freshman year. By the end of freshman year, I had five majors. Didn't know what I wanted to do. And I just kept asking people, what's the fastest way to get out of here? And they kept saying information technology. I was like, what's that? They were like computers. I said, cool, I'd like computers. And that was that's how I got my degree. Gave that degree to my mother because, hey, I did the job that you wanted me to. Now I'm going to go do this sales thing. So I've been in sales selling something since I was, um, since 2006. So I was like 23. So I've been in sales. I, I love sales because it requires, yep. and I do this, I'm good at it. And so I'm going to just do that. Any other questions? Any other questions? Yes. <laughs> Has anyone heard of Black Enterprise magazine? I think um, it sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, some of them raise their hand. So in 2007, I started attending a church in Rawway called Agape. Um, Agape means unconditional love. And so I started going to that church. I met a gentleman by the name of Alfred Edmund Jr., who worked at Black, who works at, at Black Enterprise. And so um, that first year we met, he saw me give a workshop to um, young kids. And they had a workshop called Rich Kids Workshop, or Rich Kids um, something. And so I spoke there. So he saw me speak there. Um, years later, um, Black Enterprise has this annual tournament, uh, golf and tennis classic they used to do. They decided to do away with that and turn it into the Black Men Excel Conference, which is for Black men, professionals, corporate folks, um, creatives. And so he asked me to be a panelist at the first annual um, Black Men Excel Summit. So I did that. It was a great opportunity. Five years later, he asked me to speak last year um, in November at the same conference. And um, after I got off stage, 
they were like, hey, we'd love to do a spotlight series on you. I said, what's that? They're like, well, it's about an eight minute interview, just you and, and the person asking you questions. Um, and so long story short, that came about because I kept saying yes to opportunities that felt right. I kept saying yes to opportunities that, that my spirit, like my gut was like, that's a good opportunity. Um, and the reminder out of that is listen to your gut. If it's telling you go left, go left. Like, don't deny the spirit talking to you, right? That's one of your chakras. I don't know if anybody in that stuff, but chakras, that's one of them, your, your intuition. Um, and so I just kept saying yes to opportunities that felt good, that, you know, um, where I was able to help someone else. I've always been into helping someone else somehow. Um, that's why I've been working with kids since I was 12 years old. Um, so this is all, for me, this program is just all full circle moment. Right. I've been talking about money since I was 23, been working with kids since I was 12, been a commercial real estate agent since 2015, um, been an entrepreneur for over almost 15 years, been an author for over 10 years. All this stuff is just coming full circle. So when you're operating in your assignment, young ladies and young men, when you're operating in your assignment, favor, you get favor. Right. And favor is like normally we don't do this, but for you, we're going to do this. Like normally we only allow X amount of people, but we'll let you in, even though we're capped out. That's what favor looks like. And favor comes when you're operating your assignment. So the reason why Black, if you go to Black Enterprise website right now, my face is on there. And I was like, yo, that's wild. Because when you look at my disciplinary record from high school, <laughs> and you look at, and then, and, but from high school, but if you put my name in Google, I'm the first 21 pages all positive right and so it's a it's a flip <laughs> you feel me and so i'll offer um everyone in this room the same thing i offer my, my young people is that um if you want my card you can get my card you can go on my linkedin and connect with me on linkedin and you can go and see who i'm connected with on linkedin and if there's anybody on that list that you want to get connected to Whatever industry you, you want to be in, I can make that connection for you. So I'll make that same um, offer to anyone. I have my business cards with me. Um, so before we leave here today, get my business card, go to my LinkedIn, connect with me, go through my list of, of people, and, and let me know if you want me to connect you with anybody. Any questions? Any other questions? So I can leave? <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to sort of give you guys a really...